varicose veins are enlarged, gnarled veins that are often found on the legs and feet. For some, they are just a cosmetic concern, but they can also be very painful, and if untreated, they can lead to more serious complications. Thanks to great advancements in this field, varicose veins can now be easily removed. Here's more. Doctor, what is a varicose vein? Susanna, a varicose vein is uh, an abnormal vein that is dilated in the leg. And this vein uh, can cause pain, it can cause skin discoloration, and it results from a condition known as venous insufficiency. And venous insufficiency is a medical condition in which the veins are unable to pump the blood from the feet back up to the heart. And because the veins can't do that effectively, the blood pools in our legs due to the effects of gravity. And over time, our veins tend to dilate and get bigger, and that causes varicose veins. I know that varicose veins are often age-related. What are the other risk factors? Well, the most important risk factor is family history. If a parent has had varicose vein, there's nearly a 50% chance that an individual can develop varicose veins, and nearly a 90% chance of developing varicose veins if both parents have had it. Some of the other risk factors include pregnancy, menopause, a history of blood clots in the legs, being overweight, and uh, also smoking, and uh, being in an occupation that requires prolonged sitting or standing. Well, varicose veins are often considered a cosmetic problem. That's correct. However, left untreated, several serious medical conditions can arise. Varicose veins can become very painful. They can become red, swollen, and, and inflamed. And on rare occasions, a blood clot can develop in a varicose vein. And if that blood clot progresses over time, the blood clot can involve the deeper veins of the leg. And that is a serious condition known as a DVT, or a deep vein thrombosis. And a DVT can lead to a blood clot in the lung called a pulmonary embolus, and that can be fatal. They can also lead to chronic leg swelling, skin discoloration, and in some cases, uh, venous ulcers uh, of the leg. There are several options available to treat varicose. There is very painful sounding vein stripping surgery. Vein stripping surgery, Suzanne, is exactly how it sounds. And it is done in the hospital under general anesthesia. And it pretty much involves a surgeon making an incision and literally ripping the vein out of the leg. Fortunately, uh, that procedure is rarely done uh, nowadays. The second uh, treatment is sclerotherapy. And that involves injecting a medication that causes a chemical irritation to the vein, and then the vein closes. And then the third option, uh, which is really the gold standard, is uh, a technique called uh, laser ablation. And what that involves is delivering very intense heat to the inside of the vein. And when you give that intense heat, the vein closes, and the varicose veins will disappear. And or, a patient of yours is here with us today. Doctor, describe Ed's particular case and how bad was it? Um, Ed had a very complex case of uh, venous insufficiency. He was suffering not only from the typical symptoms, but he was starting to develop ulcers. Ed, what other symptoms did you have? The uh, swelling was painful. Uh, the ulcers were bleeding on a regular basis and it was very uncomfortable to try to sit or stand for a long period of time. Now doctor we have a video of you performing the laser surgery on Ed. Suzanne this procedure is performed by an interventional radiologist. An interventional radiologist is a physician who specializes in minimally invasive image guided procedures. Under ultrasound I'm giving the local uh, anesthetic, 
and then I'm taking a needle and I am accessing the superficial vein and you can see my needle going into that round circle. I then place a wire and a catheter into his vein and I advance that catheter all the way up to the start of the vein which is uh, in the groin. You can see how his skin is getting raised a little bit. I'm injecting some saline which is pretty much water and that saline will protect his skin uh, from the heat of the laser. And now you can see the laser there. You can see that red light, that is the laser. And over a period of uh, perhaps uh, five to eight minutes, we just pull the laser back and it slowly burns the inside of the vein closed. And what has the recovery been like? The recovery was pretty much instantaneous. The only uh, sensation that I did feel was similar to like a bruise, but no pain and instant relief from the symptoms of the varicose veins. So it, it has really been a smart thing for me to do. To learn more, go to penmedicine.org and type varicose veins in the search box.